Congratulations on your fights. Thank you so How much. did you find it? Really good. Like, did you? I loved it. Did you? I'm going to have a big break now and then. Got a big break. Was, it, was it quite hard training? Intense. So yeah. intense. The training was awful. <laughs> I enjoy the training, but it was it was those days when it's just like, oh, I can't believe it. But mm. yeah, it was good. And yeah. obviously it was all worth it because one, well, one fight. So yeah, of course. And I want a bigger one in February. Perfect. So, Perfect. Yeah, very good. How do you find what's been done? Oh my gosh, so, do you know what, even with the lips going down, I thought I'd absolutely hate it. I don't even mind them being a bit smaller. It looks so much better. So much better. I saw you on your Instagram, I thought, oh, she looks better. Honestly, I had, um, for my press conference, yeah. um, for the fight, I had so many people message, like, because that's the first time I've, I've not really been on camera, have I? Mm. Or, like, really, unless I'm like, doing stuff like yeah. fighting and training, so I don't look my best then. Yeah. That was the first one on camera. I had, I had actually so many phone calls being like, you look so nice. <laughs> okay. Different. I'm just yeah. like, I'm just like, yeah, I'm kind of doing two things there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy yeah. already with like the results. Perfect. As you saw last, like yeah. our last session together, yeah. I nearly cried. I was just yeah. like, this is just amazing. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really glad. happy yeah. so far. So we dissolved jaw. Yeah, so yeah. chin. Chin. Uh, it's jaw, isn't it? Lips. Yeah. And then you'd had, um, what did you have in your middle cheeks again? A lance. A lance. Yeah. And then so what would, right, because that can't be dissolved, we'd feathered in. Mm -hmm. It looks really natural, doesn't it? Yeah, so it looks better. so much better. Yeah. So I think that was one of the main things I noticed before was where the cheeks just look so like fat and round here and then it just like, lost volume around here. Yeah. So I think what happens is you put some, you, people, mm -hmm. you know, you go to a practitioner, they put filler in, mm -hmm. you're not quite happy with the results. Mm -hmm. And what happens is more fillers put in. Yeah. And then it goes to a stage where like you've gone too far. That's it. And that practitioner doesn't want to dissolve it. Yeah. And it's then telling you we'll put more filler in yeah. or or blaming you. Yeah. I mean, I think you learned to, a lesson really that just because someone's got a blue tick or a big following mm -hmm. doesn't mean they're a great doctor. Yeah, no. You know, it means that they've got a good PR firm or whatever. Um, but I, I think your agenda when you came to it was natural. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. So for me, cheeks look perfect. Mm -hmm. The jaw and chin, they look great, don't they? Yeah, it's yeah. Not, honestly, it's just, even just having that, I was like, I don't know if you need to do anything to it. No. Or you, I think it's so I don't want to put a drop of filler in your jaw and chin <laughs> because it looks natural, yeah, it looks amazing. It. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. People will want to do it because they'll want to say, oh, I did on here mm -hmm. because, you know, lip, you know, jaw and chin, mm -hmm. but you don't need it. Yeah. It's natural, it looks amazing. Yeah. With the lips. Yeah, then that's one thing I'm noticing. Yeah. So it's just they've lost a bit, when I put um, a bit of volume. So when I put anything on in the top lip, it looks like they doesn't sit as right as it used yeah. to. Close. Close. Okay. So what's great is the migration's mm. gone. Yeah. You're lacking a touch of volume, not at the top of the yeah, lip. Yeah, that's it. it just goes the, up. Yeah. <laughs> and that's part and I think that's why you had lip filler mm. is you kind of wanted a bit more of a leveling out mm. of the lip. Mm. But all that's happened is they've just brought it forward. Yeah. When I level out the lip, I can only do it very softly. Mm -hmm. It takes time. Yeah. You know, I know everyone promises that I'm gonna give you the perfect lip in one sitting. Yeah. Sometimes it's not possible. Mm -hmm. With your anatomy, it's not possible. Yeah. So we're gonna do a small amount mm -hmm. just in the middle of the lip. It's almost mm -hmm. where the kind of beautification point is. Yeah. And then we'll do a little bit on the lower, just keeping mm -hmm. it really natural. Perfect. So I think it's lip today, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Perfect. I did tear off last time, didn't I? You did. It's made a massive difference. Mm. I'm just going to put a bit more. Do you mind if I put a bit to touch more? Of course, more honestly. Yeah. I, It'll be part of I trust thing. you with my face, yeah. honestly. <laughs> I was like, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want it's to a big do, change, isn't it? It's a big change. Honestly, like just the results from last time, I was like, anything you feel like, you just, I just trust you with my face. So the, <laughs> the, the only thing is like, I have, you know, have a big following. Mm. And the, the, the biggest thing is, if you come in and I say you're perfect, yeah. Yeah, I know you'll be happy yeah. with it. It's a joke because a lot of my yeah. clients, the most beautiful people like yourself, mm -hmm. come in and I go, I don't want to do anything. Yeah. And even though you travelled here, they, they, you know, there's always a discussion where like Leah or someone's coming to me, go, I think they want their lips. I'm like, no, I'm not doing anything. No. So I'll get you to a maintenance mm -hmm. level, and even if it's I don't do anything, yeah. it's more important that when you go out there, you just look amazing, look beautiful, yeah. look natural. It always looks like I've done nothing, yeah. even though you and I know I have. Yeah.
what I've done here is I've I've done a mix of cannula and needle for Andrew's lips, and we've just had to accentuate these pillows underneath the cupid's bow. It's quite tricky when the cupid's bow is leaning forward, but if you look here on the profile now, you can see how the top lips ever so slightly coming forward compared to the bottom lip. We've accentuated the bottom lip, and with Andrew's heritage, you can see these lips look very natural now. They're not migrated at all, and it just gives it that fullness that you want. You'll probably love the swelling. They will go down, but they'll be just right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> they look lovely, don't they? They look amazing. Oh, my gosh. They look amazing. I know, I the, know. the shape of the top lip, especially. Uh, what I've done is just kept it very natural. Mm. So if you look at the profile now, it's more natural than ever. When you look for the side, yeah. you have pictures taken from the side. He looks so natural and yeah. like, but lovely. I knew you'd oh love them. Oh my god. <laughs> you look like in my head. Yeah. You know exactly what I want. Yeah. <laughs> so, what we're doing is we're putting a little bit of filler in what's called the nasolabial line. So, these lines can form when the middle cheek's a little bit full and there's a bit of a deficiency towards the nose and lip area. So, you can see I'm using a cannula where I'm applying filler here. We know there's an artery here, which is something called the angular arch which comes off the facial archery and so um, I prefer doing it via cannula some people prefer needle I think with needle you have to stay away from that artery you can always pierce it with cannula if you're soft then you can stay away from it. I understand cannula can go near arteries but in theory they should push away that's not always exclusive but if you're soft and you're gentle you know you're very unlikely to injecting into a vessel achieve what we call maintenance and what I mean by that is we don't want to make these cheeks any wider. They look so natural. We're not looking in the future to make it any wider at all. So these cheeks now come out enough and they match her middle cheeks. Her jaw and chin is hers and that's all been dissolved. And you can see it's so sharp with the chin coming out. And so we're going to keep that as it is. There's some discussion about whether you put a little bit of filler here because she's got some slight dimple. But I think it matches her profile lovely and in the front. So I don't think it's a deficiency. I think we should keep it as part of her beauty. When we look at her lips, we saw it before. She had some deficiency really in these kind of pillow tubercle areas where the kind of accentuation of beauty of the lips. So we focus around those areas and we give them the fullness here. And because of her medial cheeks being slightly big, and that's just naturally genetically who she is. Plus, as we mentioned before, she's had that around say before. We just softened the effect here with the nasolabial line, and we've softened the effect here with the tear chop. And as you can see now, the tear chop's just totally gone, and it makes the whole middle cheek blend in completely. Yeah, it looks great, yeah. For me, this is how I'll keep you now for oh, next, I'm for so years. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I feel, honestly, even when I left before, yeah. I literally got on the phone to my best friend, I cried. <laughs>